Well, city leaders broke this information to us from inside of the police department just hours ago. The good news, they've already recovered at least half of the stolen money so far, but the bad news is one city employee has been placed on paid administrative leave, and these millions, all of this money, was stolen from the public school system. The individual or the individuals that, uh, that did this are criminal. Mayor Justin Elliker outraged after more than six million dollars was stolen from the city and specifically the school system. They are unbelievably unethical to not only steal money from the public but steal money from New Haven public school children. The whole thing starting in late May when hackers got access to the email of the district's chief operating officer. Then they used a tactic called business email compromise. Where hackers gain access to a a user account, watch conversations, and then uh, insert themselves in the conversation in an attempt to steal money. In June, Elliker says hackers began interfering with email conversations between New Haven Public Schools, vendors, and the city's budget office. Six payments were made, four of them meant for first student, totaling more than $5.9 million. Two more payments went out, meant for Shipman and Goodwin, totaling more than $76,000. In July, the hackers tried again. This transfer was denied by our budget office. The city finding out on June 23rd when first student called them looking for their money. It was clear from the beginning that this was a larger type investigation. To date, they've recovered $3.6 million, and the FBI put a freeze on some transfers, all as the superintendent can't help but think of the children ultimately targeted. I'm just outraged that individuals will go to this extent to actually steal the much needed funds. Now, the city has put one employee in their budgeting office on paid administrative leave, though they making it clear they do not believe that person was involved at all in the hacking process. Now, in the meantime, both the city and the district have made changes to their systems, and they've stopped all wire transfers in the meantime outside of their payroll process. We are live here in New Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.